a beautiful day out here in West Lafayette, Ohio. We're going to go out here and fly around, do a little bit of solo flight tonight. Davis up north flying. About 152 feet up in the air. It's about uh, 7.10. So we started a little bit uh, later tonight just to uh, try to avoid all the rough bumps and bounces and bruises and so forth. And in the distance, I can see a uh, balloon in the air. So we've got a, a balloon lifted. And if we could work our way over that way, we'll go over and check out the balloons. But we want to do it in a safe way. Uh, the way they're lifting off, there goes two balloons. The way they're lifting off is uh, in an area that's uh, covered by uh, city area and uh, trees. So we'll uh, get some altitude, and once I can figure out which way those balloons are going, I believe they're going to head sort of this way, or off to the right a little bit. I'm uh, looking at the wind that I see, and I was looking at different altitude winds, and uh, there's not much of a wind tonight, so... But I took off into the wind, and uh, they ought to be heading kind of this way. Flying right into the sun. There goes a third balloon. I don't know if any of the cameras can see them out there. It's pretty cool to see those balloons and, and go up by them. But you got to remember safety first. You, know, you want to make sure you have a, a place to land if something happens. They look like they're heading kind of towards Walmart. about uh, 700 feet, 676. It's pretty smooth up here. Doing about 27 miles an hour. It's pretty hot day today, so I'm sure they're not getting a whole lot of lift. 788 feet, about 28 miles an hour. And so far I see about uh, two balloons, maybe three. Pretty hazy out here. We'll let the trims out just a little bit. Try to get a little bit more speed.
and there's 30 miles an hour. We're going pretty much into the wind. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, or at least one of them right over the top of the hilltop. So about uh, 836 feet, about 29 miles an hour. Really hazy up here. I'm going to fly around to the right and then cut back over to the left once I go around these hills. Feel a lot comfortable, or I feel more comfortable, or comfortable. -er. Anyway, I feel better about flying over to the right here through the open fields. I'm high enough, though, if something was to cut an engine out, would be able to make it over to one of these open spots. We'll aim back over here towards these balloons and see if we can see them in the camera. I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but uh, there is a balloon. I'm looking at it, and the other camera making a shot, but heading right for it. It's sitting right over the front end fork. Just a big haze out there. Just a bunch of haze. This is the first nice, nice day we've had in quite a while. I see several balloons that are still over at the uh, fairgrounds where they're launching, and we want a lot of trees off to the left here, so we'll stay away from those and stay to the right here with the open area. There's Walmart straight ahead. I've got my uh, GoPro 7 mounted on the frame, and uh, a lot of people have asked about mounting the camera to the frame, and how is it that I don't get the jitters and the, and the jello look, uh, because uh, the GoPro 7 and above uh, the certain black models, uh, they uh, they have a stabilizer built in them. Now this GoPro 4 that I have on my helmet, if I was to put it on the frame, it'd just be a bunch of jello. So maybe at some point I'll pick up another GoPro, uh, an eight or a nine or another seven. And uh, they do have a really nice picture. But the 4 does, too. It looks pretty good. I don't really have any complaints. Plus, the 4, you can put the uh, Bluetooth Cine backpack on it, hook it to the microphone, or connect to the Bluetooth microphone of the Cine. So that's real nice. Used to be these uh, balloons would it come over here by this big field or by Walmart, and they would land. But the wind isn't conducive. That's my big word for today, conducive. For them to uh, head this way. But I can uh, fly over here and kind of around this open field and get a better shot of all the balloons that are sitting over here. And we're over here by Walmart. And they've opened up a an area where they dig sand, I guess. A lot of sand over in this area. All right, we're going to turn to the left here, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a good shot of uh, of these balloons. We had a lot of trees and houses over here, so. But straight ahead is uh, several balloons that are still set at the fairground, and you got three of them in the air. You have three of them in the air. I see about one, two, three, four, five, maybe six balloons on the ground. I see another one that looks like it's uh, either landed really short or really didn't go there anywhere. Oh, there's another one in the parking lot. They didn't, they didn't go far. Oh, there's another one. I see about uh, boy, several over here that uh, 
<laughs> Looks like they landed in a residential area. And I don't want to go too far over here. But there's a good adjust of what uh, what I'm seeing, and that most of them are over the trees. The woods, so uh, I don't feel the risk is worth the reward. I've seen plenty of blooms. Now, if they were to come over this way, I would definitely fly around them and visit with them. But at this point, we'll just turn them out, fly over here in the Walmart area for just a little bit been flying for about 20 minutes. I've been trying to set up my trim over here on the left for my uh, perk trim. And uh, it was sort of in the way of the uh, tip steering. So I've got it set up now and it's doing what it's supposed to do. A couple of years ago, I sat by the windows at Bob Evans and watched all the balloons fly by. That was uh, pretty cool. Some of the balloons look like they are lifting up again. They were out in the residential area. I'll give them a little bit of time, and uh, maybe on my way back, I can meet up with them because they're basically heading back towards or close to the LZ. There's an airplane flying over there by the balloons. Some of these balloons are climbing real high to catch different winds at different altitudes. And it's pretty much the same all the way up to about 4,000 feet. for about 24 minutes at about 35 miles an hour. Trims are out a bit. Airplane coming across right in front of me. Definitely don't want to uh, Stay away from him. All right, we'll go around and get one more shot of these balloons. And then we'll start heading back towards the LZ and uh, just enjoy some flying back that way. Okay, maybe we'll catch up back, head back towards the LZ and uh, hopefully we will. Alright, picking up a little bit of speed so I know we're going with the wind. Got about 34, 35.
So with the drift out to about 12 and going with the wind, you've got to keep your throttle on a little bit more to keep your altitude because you lose your lift and push. So just do that, just watch the really fly. 